Hi, this is Luis from Fixturama Studios, and I'd like to show you some gameplay of our game Dead Synchronicity Tomorrow Comes Today. Dead Synchronicity Tomorrow Comes Today is a point and click graphic adventure featuring a really easy to use, intuitive interface. Let's see how it is. Well, this is Michael, the main character. To make him move, simply left click on a spot and Michael will move there. On every location, there might be several hotspots, items, and characters. Every time you place the pointer over one of them, you will see one or more icons appear next to the pointer, as well as the hotspot's name. The icon on the right indicates the action Michael will perform when you right-click. Usually, the right icon is an eye, which indicates Michael will examine the item. However, there are several options for the left-click icon. For instance, it might be a hand, which means Michael will take or use that item. As you can see, Michael just picked the empty cans, so now the cans have become an object in the inventory. Yes, Michael suffers from Diogenes Syndrome, as every other point-and-click main character, but we'll go back to that later. When you place the pointer over a character, the left-click icon is usually a mouth, which indicates you can talk to that character. Let's talk with these kind-looking guards. Did you see that close-up zoom? Every conversation in Dead Synchronicity Tomorrow Camp Today will feature this effect, which we consider a dynamic and cinematographic twist to conversations in graphic adventures. It is what we call dynamic close-up dialogue. Once you keep in a conversation, just click on the sentence you want Michael to say. And once the conversation is finished, another zoom back will restore the usual wide view. As you can see, since Michael has got more information about this wall, now the hotspot is called Wall of Shame, even the description changed. Let's have a look to Michael's inventory, which appears when you click on the suitcase icon. To examine an object, simply right-click on it. If you want to use an object with another one in the inventory, just left-click and the object will be selected until you left click again on another item. To use an object with an item which is located in the background, just select the object and move the pointer out of the inventory and then left click on the item, hotspot or character. Mm, it doesn't seem like a good idea. When you place the pointer over an exit, the pointer will move to indicate you can leave the location that way. If you want to leave the location quicker, just double-click on the exit. Now let's leave Michael stand still for a few seconds. Hey, what's that? Did you understand what happened? Well, neither does Michael, but we can tell you that phenomenon is related to the plot, and it's what we call DS backgrounds. Maybe in future installments Michael will take advantage of these distortions. Okay, I know you want Michael to leave the camp. Let's try. It seemed clear it was not going to be that easy. 
And well, that's a brief introduction to Dead Synchronicity Tomorrow Comes Today gameplay. Thanks for watching, and remember to stay tuned for a Kickstarter campaign, which will start mid March. Help us fund Dead Synchronicity Tomorrow Comes Today so that Michael can avoid the impending moment of Dead Synchronicity, because otherwise, what will you do when time dissolves itself?